So you're thinking of moving to or near Morristown, New Jersey. In this video, I'm gonna show you around Morristown, including some of the things you can do in the area, where you can eat, some of the neighborhoods, price ranges, and more. At the end, I'm gonna show you how to get around South Jersey from the Morristown area. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that. So hang out till the end. Let's get started. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in South Jersey, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know every time we send out new information about South Jersey. My name is Matt Curcio with Curcio Partners at Real Broker. We get calls and messages every day from people like you looking to make their move in South Jersey, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in five days or five months, give us a call, send us an email, or send us a text. All of our information is in the description below. So as I mentioned today, we're going to discuss a bunch about Morristown, New Jersey. Great area. Um, we're going to jump into my computer. I'm going to show you around and see you in a minute. All right. This is looking overhead on the Google Earth view of Morristown. Location wise, I'm going to show you the map. This is where we are on a map. And if you zoom way out, New York's up here, Philadelphia and Baltimore and South. So we are down here in Morristown. All right. So couple uh general details size of it right uh the it's actually 14.94 square miles the population is over 21,000 uh residents all right so the history of morristown is it was originally occupied by the lanai lenape tribe and in 1682 english settlers came in named john sarah roberts um they were the first english-speaking residents and now their home is marked by a monument uh, it's called the Roberts Monument at the intersection of 537 and Route 73. All right. But one other cool thing in 2005, when it was voted the best town in the U.S. in Money Magazine. So it was pretty cool. So find that article, read a bit more about it, but really cool information and great for Morristown. Next, we're going to talk about parks, right? So there's a ton of parks in Morristown. There's actually 19 of them. Um, a lot of different parks have different things. Some of the bigger ones, Beach Street Park, Fullerton Park, Jeff Young Park. But here on a map, you can kind of see all these and more. So lots of places to get out in the sun and lots of different fields and all that kind of stuff. All right, so next we're going to cover the country clubs. All right, so the main one in the center of Morristown is member only, and that's the Laurel Creek Country Club. And that's right here on a the map. There you go. So a nice neighborhood around it. In the video where we drive you through neighborhoods, this is one of the neighborhoods. So we kind of show you around that area. Then next is Morristown Field Club. This is open to the public um, and it's a smaller, uh, I think it's a nine hole only, but lots of other stuff to do there. So check out the website, stop by. If you're in the area, great little spot, lots of good reviews about that as well. All right, next, shopping. So Morristown does have its downtown, okay? So this is what it kind of looks like on Google Earth. Uh, starts, I mean, the, the food and shops and stuff starts right here at the corner deli. And then it kind of goes down for a few blocks and you can kind of see different uh, stuff. So lots of cute restaurants, you know, shops and things like that. As we go down, we're going to get into restaurants, right? So other than that, you have the Morristown Mall. All right. And uh, so Main Street's first, then you get the mall and there's lots of different stuff. All right. Lots of different plazas. Obviously, 14 square miles is big, so we can't go through everything, but um, lots of different places, a lot of stuff around by the mall where near 295 and 38 and, and even 73. So again, lots of stuff to do food wise and restaurants. Schools, according to niche.com, Morristown is rated an A plus. That's where I believe, you know, a lot of people uh, gravitate to Morristown and um, well, how it got that rating of nicest town in the US. All right, next let's cover homes for sale. So we are at the beginning of 2024 and right now in a low market and a small market with slim pickings, we have 32 active homes. Single families, you're probably gonna be starting in the mid to high threes and then it can go up into the several millions. Um, but in general today, there's about 30 active homes for sale and they're all over once you start hitting neighborhoods you're going to be over 500 600 000. 
um, a lot of established areas behind Main Street. It's there's a nice section back there of the older homes. So lots of different homes into the millions and multi-million dollar range. Um, Morristown actually has the largest home in the state of New Jersey in it, and it's owned by the Vernon Hill, the guy who made uh, Commerce Bank, and now it, he owns a uh, portion of TD Bank as well. So it's a pretty amazing property. Uh, and like I said, it's the largest one in all of New Jersey. So that's pretty cool. But lots of nice homes. Uh, Morristown is a destination for professional players, athletes, and more. So um, lots of good real estate opportunities there. All right, let's talk about getting around. So getting around South Jersey from Morristown, right? It's a great location. It's in the northern part of what we call South Jersey. Uh, so what that means is, you know, good location when you're talking towards New York and Philadelphia and South. So first popular spot to go look at uh, or drive to is to get out of New Jersey and go South. And that would start in the Delaware, right? So from Morristown to the Delaware Memorial Bridge is about 40 minutes. So Morristown has, I mean, it's got a great location. No matter where you are in Morristown, you're quick to get to the highways. So then next, another good destination would be New York. So New York is an hour and 45 minutes, um, and that gets you into the bridge, it gets you into New York, New York, but traffic will depend on what happens after the bridges. So some people can relocate for jobs down to Morristown and, and still work up near New York. Um, because they, they can be there in under two hours. And with all the remote working nowadays, it's an opportunity as well. Let's see, Philadelphia, if you wanna fly, this is the main airport. And some people will live it, you know, live in South Jersey and work in uh, Philadelphia. So you can be at, by the airport in about 30 minutes. And actually Philadelphia, you can be in about the same, about 30 minutes. So it's close. So all the stadiums are down around here. So uh, you can be at a Phillies, Eagles, Sixers, all those games, Flyers, uh, in about 30 minutes as well. So anything Philadelphia, you're only 30 minutes away. Next, beaches, all right? So two options for Morristown. Anybody above like, I guess I'd say like Belmar down here, if you see me on a map, um, you got two choices for beaches. So I'll start with Long Beach Island. So Long Beach Island, LBI, you can be there in about an hour and 10 minutes. And then you can go north, right? To Seaside Heights and Asbury Park and all that stuff. So that's gonna be about an hour and 10 minutes from you there. Next, we have Atlantic City, hour and 10 minutes. You can be here. And then if you wanna go south, Ocean City, Stone Harbor, Wildwood, Cape May, lots more stuff to do. Obviously, um, Atlantic City has the casinos. So any gambling shows, stuff like that. You're in a great spot. You'll be there in about an hour. But beach wise, it's common for people to go to the shores up in the northern section by LBI and Beach Haven and all these different towns as we go up. And then um, some will pick to be down here by Vetner, Margate, Ocean City, all that down here. So um, that's how you're going to get around from Morristown in all the different areas. Well, that's about it on Morristown. Quick video just to kind of give you an overview and show you around. If you're in the market, reach out. All of our information is in the description below.